Students in the Central Square School District have been remote learning for about a month now. For one parent with a child in the special education program, it's been far from easy. News Channel 9's Nicole Somavilla shares her experience and what the superintendent is doing to try and improve learning in a pandemic. It's been extremely difficult and frustrating. Violet Martin's 11-year-old son struggles with reading, is. and remote learning is heavy in that department. I'm just literally watching him go from a high honor roll student to failing. Her son learns in person once a week, and Martin wants more. But she doesn't blame Superintendent Tom Calabufo, who says they're trying their best. The special education teacher can then go into a breakout room and have one-to-one -one instruction with that child, and then they both go back into the you know remote classroom together. What would you say to those parents who feel their child is maybe falling behind on the academic level because of the remote learning? I know that frustration from both ends, not only as superintendent, but also with my own child, I want the best for them. Students in the most restrictive special education programs can learn in person five days a week. Calabufo knows it doesn't work for every family. And for those who are still struggling, the district is looking into ways they can add more in-person learning safely. Everybody is trying their best, and we, we all want this to be in a rearview mirror sooner than later. I think a lot of it falls on the governor's shoulders, and he needs to lessen some of his restrictions so that we can get these kids back in school. Because whatever district you're in, nothing can replicate in-person learning. Nicole Somavilla, News Channel 9. And the superintendent says they would like to bring in more students, but more kids in the classroom increases the risk of having a case and being forced to go remote again.